Hi everyone, this is Katie from Clark's Condensed. I'm just going to do a brief tutorial on how to upload your own images to Cricut Design Space. This is a very simple procedure and it makes it so you can really expand what you do with your Cricut machine. Um, for sure, we'll get into Cricut Design Space as I am right now and you will go over to the left hand side and click on Upload Images. Here you will decide if you're going to upload an image or a pattern fill. Um, for this, I will be doing an image, and you can use JPEGs, GIFs, PNGs, BMPs, SVG, and DFX files. The SVG and DFX files will separate into layers, while the other ones will not be in layers. Um, so if you have an image in one of these files that you want to cut in different um, colors of vinyl or paper, etc., You'll have to do a couple different steps to get those to kind of separate um, while the svg and dfx it'll automatically have different layers for each element so first off you will click upload image it'll take you to this screen and you can press browse you have to make sure that the image is on your computer somewhere um, so just press browse and i'm going to do um, the header for my site um, It'll upload it and show you the image so you can make sure that it's correct. I usually do recommend having a transparent background, though that's not always necessary. Um, you can decide. You can click a simple image, a moderately complex image, or a complex image. So that's just going to depend. It gives the different um, descriptions of what that is. Um, and for this, it's a simple image just because, you know, there's a transparent background. Um, and solid colors and everything's pretty much separate. If you do have a background for your image, you're going to have to choose, you know, uh, the moderately complex or the complex image. So once it's uploaded, you press continue. I usually zoom out so I can see my full image. Um, and here you can erase background, certain parts of the image, um, and just make sure that everything looks how you want it to be. You can just do that by pressing this magic wand that says select and erase. And it's pretty easy, you just click on the thing you don't want. Um, and here, this is where if you have a image that you wanna cut in two different colors, two or three different colors, you can do that. Um, I wanted to do this in blue and red, but when I uploaded the image at first, it didn't separate into different, um, into different layers. So what I do um, in that case is that I will upload this image several different times and I will just grab a different element or delete certain elements. So in this one, I would delete the blue in here and then the yellow. And it'll leave me with just the colors in red. And then you'll just repeat this process with um, the different um, with the image again, you know, until you have all your different images, and then you'll just layer those um, in Design Space. But obviously, if you're just cutting in the same color or whatever, you don't have to do this. But it took me a little bit to figure this part out, so I thought I would share that. So once your image is how you like it, you just press continue, and it'll bring you to this page where you will select if it's a print, then cut image, or a save as a cut image. Um, the print and cut, it'll keep the colors that you have um, just because it's going to print to your printer, whatever colors it is, and then it will, you know, you can go back to the computer or to your Cricut machine and cut it. Um, and then save as a cut, it makes it black um, just because it's going to cut it and it doesn't need to have the color. So I'm going to select that and then you're going to come over here and name and tag your image. This is just so you can um, more easily find it in the future because it will go into your into your um, design space. Um, so you want to be able to find it. So I'm just going to change this to Clark's condensed header. And then you can change add tags so that makes it even easier to find. So if you're uploading a lot of images and you think you'll want to use it even in the future, this is very helpful. So header, blog, food, whatever. Um, so next you're going to press save. Sometimes takes a little while. Oh, 
All right, and now that it's saved, you can see your recently uploaded images library here. Um, it might actually show all of them. I'm, I haven't uploaded a ton, obviously, but um, you can uh, select them here. And so I'm just going to select one, um, and it'll insert it. And then you can just kind of adjust it how you want. And like I was talking about earlier, if you want to do it in different layers, um, I'll show you kind of what I do. Like if you have different colors that you want to do, and it's, it was a, one of those image one of those image files that don't necessarily always work, um, that don't always separate into layers on its own. So I will just go back and um, go back in here. I've done this previously. So CC. Oh, I'm going to click on the upload images because it'll show up at the bottom. So I will grab this Clark's condensed and the dots, or the condensed word in the dots, and I will um, adjust that to the size I want and put it right here. And then the dots, I'll do the same with. Make it a little bit smaller. And as you can see, it'll all be up there and it'll show different layers over here. Then when I go to cut, I just you know shut shut down which one I don't want. And I cut it a couple different times. So um, hopefully this was helpful. If you have any questions, just leave a comment in the comment section about how to upload your own images. Make sure that you always have the rights to them. Um, just searching on Google doesn't always give you the right to find, use those images. Um, Etsy is a great place to find image files and you can create, design your own in programs like Photoshop and Lightroom or even in PicMonkey. Um, and you can do basic designs in here as well. But Hopefully this was helpful, so let me know if you have any questions, we'll, and we'll see you next time.